Hi and welcome to the session. My name is Shashi. I am going to help you to solve the following question. Question is, obtain all other zeros of 3x raised to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if 2 of its zeros are root 5 upon 3 and minus root 5 upon 3. First of all, we should understand that a real number alpha is a zero of a polynomial fx if f alpha is equal to zero. This is the key idea for solving the given question. Let us now start with the solution. Let fx is equal to 3x raised to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 and its zeros are root 5 upon 3 and minus root 5 upon 3. Implies x minus root 5 upon 3 multiplied by x plus root 5 upon 3 are factors of fx which can be further written as x square minus 5 upon 3 which is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by 3x square minus 5. We can recall by factor theorem that x minus root 5 upon 3 and x plus root 5 upon 3 are the factors of fx. This implies 3x squared minus 5 is a factor of fx. Now we divide fx by 3x square minus 5. Now we will start the division. Since the first term of the dividend is 3x raised to the power 4, so we will multiply the divisor with x square to get the desired term. Multiplying the divisor with x square, we get 3x raised to the power 4 minus 5x square. Now, subtracting the like terms and bringing down the rest of the terms of the dividend, we get 6x cube plus 3x square minus 10x minus 5. Now, first term is 6x cube. So, we will multiply the divisor with 2x. Multiplying the divisor with 2x, we get 6x cube minus 10x. Now, subtracting the like terms and bringing down the rest of the terms, we get 3x square minus 5. Now, to get 3x square, we will multiply the divisor with 1. So, now the next term of the quotient would be 1. Subtracting the like terms, we get 3. remainder equal to 0. We know dividend is equal to Divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Now, substituting these values, we get 3x raised to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5, which is our dividend, is equal to 3x square minus 5 multiplied by x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 0. 
zero is our remainder. Three x square minus five is our divisor, and x square plus two x plus one is the quotient obtained in the division. It can be further written as root three x square minus root five square, and x square plus two x plus one is equal to x plus one whole square. Here we have used the identity that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two ab. This is further equal to root three x plus root five multiplied by root three x minus root five multiplied by x plus one whole square. We have applied the formula of a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now, for finding the zeros of f x, we will put all the factors of f x equal to zero. Therefore, root three x plus root five. Is equal to zero, which implies x is equal to minus root five upon root three, which is further equal to minus root five upon three. Similarly, root three x minus root five is equal to zero, which implies x is equal to under root of five upon three. Similarly, we can write x plus one multiplied by x plus one is equal to zero, which implies x is equal to minus one, or x is equal to minus one. So the four zeros of the given f x is equal to minus root five upon three, root five upon three, minus one, and minus one. Hence, four zeros of given f x are minus one, minus one, root five upon three, and minus root five upon three. This is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you enjoyed the session. Goodbye.